Welcome Cancers. I'm back y'all with another video. This is going to be for the month of May. So we're going to see what energy is coming towards you for the month of May. Keep in mind guys, this reading is very general, so it may or may not resonate. If it happens to resonate, all the better. Be sure to leave a thumbs up and share with your family and friends and comment below as well guys. So for everyone who has purchased the uh, my energy clearance spray, guys, orders are going out. They started going out last week. More orders are going out this week. Um, and if you're interested in this product, guys, if you're interested in ordering this product, it is available on the website. This is a smokeless alternative to burning sage and burning Palo Santo sticks. Um, it has Palo Santo... Um, in sage as well as florida water as well as some crystals in here as well it has a few other things i can't tell y'all every little detail but this is a very powerful product okay you can use this in your office at work you can use this in your home in your car wherever you are that you need to just clear up that energy really really quick just a couple of pumps it smells amazing as well so you want to get this guys you want to get that <laughs> it is available on the website the website is in the drop box below all right so let's talk cancers let's see what we got going on for the month of may what messages so we got going on <clears throat> for the month of may What messages do we have for Cancers for the month of May? This wanted to come peek out. We got the sun. Okay, so some of you guys could be feeling very vibrant, very happy, very good vibes. Or some of you guys are dealing with a Leo. All right, so give me more messages for my Cancers. All right, so wow, we got the Ten of Swords here at the bottom. And the Justice card. The Nine of Cups, what's going on? For some of you, this could be something legal. Or some of you, something could be headed to an ending, okay? I'm even hearing divorce with the Justice card and the Ten of Swords and Nine of Cups. Okay, you're waiting for a final decision to be made. There's some, some sneakiness going on here. Okay, so let's find out. The sun is illuminating something here as well, too. All right, see, we got the queen of wands. Some of you guys are dealing with the Leo, okay? And the six of swords, the three of swords, the star, queen of swords, two of swords, six of wands, nine of pentacles, and the seven of wands. Wow. Tell me why the sun is here. <clears throat> the Eight of Pentacles and the Harfit and the Four of Cups and the Strength card, the Emperor. I feel like somebody here is disappointed because somebody is supposed to be like somebody something isn't going right. Something isn't right. Okay, like um I feel like with the four of cups and the harfin here. Somebody it does not want to commit. It could be a Leo or an Aries. But somebody here is their ego is so big. Okay, well, I feel like something about bringing up the past as well. What is this? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? And the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's somebody here. <clears throat> we got the lovers. Could be a Gemini involved. The Seven of Swords. Somebody here. There could be some 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 lying going on here. Tell me more. Somebody's trying to explain some 
something. I'm hearing, trying to explain. King of Swords. Somebody here has changed their mind about something. Somebody here has changed their mind about something. Why is the Six of Swords here? Yeah, the Six of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Someone could be moving in or moving out. Somebody changed their mind about something. Why the Ten of Pentacles? Yeah. Somebody could be relocating. The High Priestess could be dealing with the Cancer or Pisces. The King of Cups. Some of you are dealing with the Virgo Taurus or Capricorn, or there is something here about someone is asking for something, asking for some type of gift or asking for some money. Somebody wants to move. Somebody wants to go somewhere. And somebody here is changing their mind. So maybe you guys are planning on planning a trip of some sort. Why is the Three of Swords here? Yeah, but I feel like there has been like some type of breakup here. The Three of Swords and the Ten of Cups and the Lovers. There's been some type of breakup. Okay, the Eight of Swords. You could be afraid that there's going to be a breakup and there is some going to be some type of ending. I feel like in the past you were hoping to reconcile with this person. King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Temperance could be a Sagittarius, <clears throat> but somebody could have ran off with the money or somebody could have ran off um, whenever they got the opportunity. But I'm getting somebody asked for something that the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles and they ran off with it. Now, the Queen of Swords is here with future energy. I'm getting there is a change of perspective. I feel like you look at this person and this situation completely different. You have like I feel like you, you have a different view of this situation you're not sure if this situation is done with you're not sure if this person is going to run back but somebody's got put on hold somebody got put on hold and i feel like you're giving a lot of your energy to your work um, something that you're working on, something that you're building, you're going to make this person wait. You're going to make this person wait. Now, I feel like this person is going to come running back for attention or they feel like you're going to come running back for attention. But I feel like this is them. Like, they're, com they're coming back, running back for your attention. The strength card could be a Leo. the four of swords yeah like <laughs> you got a strong hold on this person um and i feel like they're gonna come running back for your attention first they gotta think of what they're gonna say could be a capricorn they're trying to think of what to say first because this person is over here uh, really regretful here really regret regretful they know they did something wrong now your hopes and fears we got the nine of pentacles and the seven of pentacles i feel like you've been real patient with this person but now a judgment call needs to be made okay like this person is giving you no choice but to go ahead and take a leap of faith um i feel like you may feel like this person has been holding you back in is this person is making you feel like you have to be too guarded towards them like this person just revealed their true colors to you and i feel like you're disappointed now with the seven of wands as the outcome the emperor i feel like you're going to be standing up for yourself from here on out okay you're standing up for yourself from here on now they won't be able to pull that shit on you again they won't be able to pull that shit again your guard is all the way up they won't be able to pull that again They won't pull that again. <laughs> you're not letting that slide like that again. That's a hell to the no. So whoever you're dealing with, 
I feel like this person may have pulled something over, the, pulled the wool over your eyes for the last time. And you're not going for that again. That won't happen again. <laughs> that won't happen again. You hear me? <laughs> Cancer say no, 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 no. That won't happen again. Tell me more about what's going on between Cancer and, and this person. Basic. Huh. Somebody realized, somebody woke up and realized that this person is really basic as fuck. And they're probably struggling. They're doing all this capping about what they got going on. They side hustle, they this, this, that, they money. But really, you feel like they lying. Because from what you see, they're pretty basic. I feel like um, with Slay here, you're focused on slaying your goals and you're focused on you. You're not sorry about it neither. And you're doing a whole lot of flexing, hockey. Like hockey, I'm finna flex on you, I'm finna shit on you. You tried me for the last time, I'm standing up for myself. You got me messed up. Yeah, you woke up to this. <laughs> you have woke up to this situation, this person, and they are canceled. <laughs> you canceled this person. Bye, Felicia. Didn't I tell you? Bye. Bye-bye. And that's just on that. I don't need to pull no more cards. That's on that. Y'all done woke up to somebody game, and it's like, a, uh, no, that ain't going to happen again. We're not letting that happen again. Bye. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it, guys. I love it. And it's, I'm, I'm loving that because Cancer's are always pretty much really sensitive with their emotions like pisces is pretty sensitive but cancers are uh sensitive as well and for me to see you guys stand your ground and be in control i love it you're not being a pushover you're not being a doormat them doormat days is over with <laughs> them doormat days is over with it's a wrap they can cancel it you done cancel this person you done cancel your subscription it ain't nothing all right so y'all let me know what's going on in the description box below all right check out the website and as well guys if you're interested in booking a personal that information on how to contact me is in the drop box below i'm gonna chat with y'all later ciao for now